Scorpio, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading. So if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I'll also answer three yes or no questions with the pendulum. So make sure you bring your questions when you hop on over to the extended. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it's really beneficial for you. It's completely free. And uh, then you'll get notified when I do Scorpio readings, which I do every single week. And the added bonus is it doesn't cost you anything to hit the subscribe button. Okay, I'll pull some Oracle cards and we'll hop right into your tarot reading. And as you can see, one of the cards fell out already. And this is New Life. Look at how pretty that is. I love these cards. Serendipity. I love this card too. I have a friend of mine that always says serendipitous about like everything. It's so cool. Flexibility and what you're not seeing. Loyal heart. Cancer got this in the exact same spot. So I highly recommend you going over there and checking out that reading because I'm sure there's probably a message in there for you. Okay, Scorpio. I feel like you're breaking out of your shell. I feel like there's this um, release and letting go and movement. There's definite movement forward here. And it's positive too. Five of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. I'll lay all of the tarot cards down and then I'll go over them. Four of Pentacles. King of Swords, Justice. This has come out in Cancer, Pisces, and now yours. So there's something along with the water signs. There's some sort of connection and um, link between all of the water sign readings this week. Knight of Wands. And the overall energy is the Queen of Swords. So this is interesting because... First off, there is only one major arcana, which is the Justice card. Second, the Queen and King in the Tarot deck, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, they are the only couple that is not married in the deck. So I'm feeling like that's a message as well. This could be about a long-term relationship that doesn't involve marriage. Or this could be somebody that you're connected to, that it's not actually a relationship. This is more of, um, this could be somebody that you really feel like you can be yourself with, but it's more friendship. It's more platonic than anything. It's not emotion. Like there is an emotional connection along the lines of like friendship, but this, so I'm seeing that there was some conflict. There were some issues that you had to overcome and that's why you have this new life. Like, I feel like that the fight that you had was breaking out of your shell, was like breaking into that. Yep, that's exactly it. Six of Pentacles, finding what you deserve out of life. Five of Wands is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, and that has come out in all three of those readings as well, or all three of the water sign readings. I highly recommend you check out Cancer and Pisces readings as well. Um, it is about you finding yourself. It is about you learning this lesson. It is about you taking the time. And I feel like, so this world card is all about like giving birth, but it's the pain that the baby goes through that the baby doesn't understand what's going on and when it comes into the world it's like completely new and scary and it just doesn't understand what anything like the the noises and the pains and the smells it's all everything is all new and so you're finally at that point where you finally have broken out of your shell and I feel like that that breaking out of your shell is um ending the conflict externally There is this new tangible, it is about taking care of yourself. It is finding your destiny. It is finding your path. It is finding what, what you're willing to be flexible on and not flexible on. You know, there, there are a lot of people in this world that can adapt to any situation. But just because you can adapt to any situation doesn't mean you should. 
And that is, um, I feel like that is a very powerful message for you that just because you can adapt, you know, you're probably one of those people that has like a high level of patience, a high level of tolerance of things and like maybe a lot of knowledge or things like that. So this new beginning, this, um, this tangent, it's this very physical gift to yourself. Ace of Pentacles, clarify. Queen of Wands, Devil, Tower. You are not going to believe this, but this Devil and this Tower combo have come out in all three of the water sign readings. The Justice card has come out in all three of the readings, and so has the Six of Pentacles. And this Loyal Heart came out in Cancer. This is actually quite incredible to me. Taking care of yourself and finding... It really has been kind of like the same feel for all of the readings as well of like finding your calling but I feel like you're at the part you're you're the person that has finally moved past the issues that have arisen it's like you have finally like you're doing the work of okay here we are we're in this new beginning you know, you're probably finding like synchronicities at this point. You know, when you start off and you're going through a transition and you're you're changing and you're moving out of something and moving into something else, there's like an ending that happens. There's a detachment that has to happen and a letting go and a release and understanding the steps that you have to take forward to be able to create this new beginning. I, I feel like you're finally at the new beginning. You're there where you are taking the steps forward. But I feel like you did have to go to this moment where you're like, like almost bitch mode where you're like I am not doing this anymore like toxicity is leaving my leaving my life and I'm creating my new beginnings by really no longer adapting or sacrificing myself for things you know it's like am I going to regret this situation you know really like you know what I'm gonna go skydiving for example I went skydiving this past summer and I wasn't scared because I'm not really afraid to die, but it's also like there is this like acceptance of that is a possibility. And I don't want to really think like that because it kind of sounds morbid, but like when you're jumping out of a plane, like there's a possibility of a ton of different things happening. And so it was one of those things like we jump out of the plane and we're falling and there's like 45 seconds, which feels like forever before the parachute opens up. And I got to that point where it's like, okay, we jumped out and we're falling. And I was like, okay, well, you know what? This is it. Like, if it's going to go, if I'm going to die, like, I'm going to enjoy the ride down. I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful cloud that I'm passing. I'm going to enjoy the view. I'm going to enjoy everything about this. And, um... That, like, it's, like, then the parachute opened, and I was, like, oh, you know what? I'm fine. Everything's fine now. So, like, the 45 seconds of worry, I refused to, if that was going to be the last, you know, three minutes of my life, it wasn't going to be in fear. It wasn't going to be, I wasn't going to be scared. I wasn't going to be, I had accepted that that was a possibility. You, you know, you sign the waivers, all this stuff, and it's, like, I, I have accepted that that is a possibility that it will happen. Did I think it would happen? No. But I have had accepted the possible consequences of my actions. And like that's what you're doing is you're stepping into that realm of acceptance of every choice you make. And that's what you're seeing is like I will no longer live in regret. No more regrets. Like I from this point forward, I am going to speak my mind. I'm going to say what I want, do what I want. Queen of Swords. The overall energy is the Queen of Swords, which is being authentic, which is speaking your mind, which is like, you know, I understand that there are going to be situations where I'm probably going to put my foot in my mouth. There are going to be situations where I'm probably going to say something really stupid and probably offend people and probably have these moments. But the fact is, like, I've accepted this. This is, you know, this is all about being human and making mistakes and just understanding that shit happens. And it's like... I have accepted who I am. I have accepted this. It's like you've manifested this. And this is kind of like a, a really true real. Like you're real now. 
you're at that moment. I've had somebody say that to me recently. And they're like, you know, I really like being your friend because I know where I stand with you. Like if you're upset, you tell me and you don't do it in like a condescending way. You're just like, you just talk to me. You know, you tell me what you're feeling. You tell me what you're thinking. You tell me when you're upset and you give me the opportunity to be able to apologize if I screw something up. And when you screw up, you're the first one to come to me and say, hey, you know what? If I was in that situation, I probably would have been pissed off at me. And I'm really sorry that I did that to you. And so this person was talking to me and they're like, you're just real. Like, you're you. And I was like, you know what? That is like the nicest compliment anybody has ever given me. It's like, you are you in all situations. It's like, it's like one of these situations where my dad, when I was growing up, had always taught me, just live your life like somebody's always watching you. You know, if you're going to do something, you know, somebody's watching me. What would I do if somebody's watching me? And I really have tried to live that way. And so it's one of those things like, I, I take radical acceptance and accountability for everything that I do. And that's just how I try to live my life. And I feel like that's what happened with you is there might have been a person that was very much like that in your life that, you know, if they screwed up, they apologized. Or if you screwed up, they called you out and it's like, hey, you know what? That's not okay. You should really apologize to so-and-so. You should really say something or it, it's one of those things like, it's just really cutting through the bullshit and there's just this like give and take of like there's no question you know it's like you never walk away from this person having regrets you walk away feeling like empowered like this person gave you the power to express who you are and that I feel is very much lacking in society and and lacking in this life but this person could have been like somebody that was older and wiser than you, maybe a grandparent or somebody that you really looked up to, or maybe even just a close, fr close friend. But this person is so authentic. It's like, they're just not embarrassed about being human. They're not ashamed or have a major ego. And so it's like, it's like you, ha you could have gone through your life, like really confused or very timid and, and, you know, who am I type of feeling, but I feel like when you're around this person, it's like anybody who is not authentic, it's like you can't be around them. And I feel like that's what's really leaving and that's what's really important here is about, about, you know, this is so funny because the number six was very prevalent in the Cancer reading and the Pisces reading. And the card, the number one card that's the number six card that was missing is actually the Lovers. And so now you have the Lovers card with your reading. It's like you've done all of the stuff and it's like you have finally made the decision to move into that life, move into that I am authentic. You know what? I am a sensitive person. I'm very caring, but I'm also... Um, but I'm also a human being and I deserve love too. But it's like, you just, just no bullshit. Like there's just this life of drama that people are so sick of. And it's like, you know, everybody being offended over every little thing. It's like, you have to walk on eggshells because you could offend this party or offend this religion or offend this person or offend this, you know, it's like everybody walks on eggshells and we have a, you have to adapt to all these situations but it's come to the point where it's like, just because you can adapt to a situation doesn't mean you have to. It, it's like finally, and this is, I didn't say it this reading because I wasn't sure, but the only card that can overcome the devil card is the strength card. And again, you really need to watch the cancer reading and the Pisces reading. They're very significant. This is finally at that point where you're like, now you can express yourself and you can be yourself and you can say what you want. And it's like, you know what? There is a possibility I'm going to offend somebody, but you're, you being offended over me setting my boundaries or expressing myself, that really is a form of manipulation. And it's like, if you can't be yourself, but they're allowed to be themselves, like that really is them controlling the situation. And that's not really fair. Like this whole being offended and trying to make people feel guilty about offending you, 
it's like you can apologize like well I'm sorry you're offended by my feelings and my perspective but I'm a human being and just because I have a different viewpoint on things doesn't mean I don't respect you and it doesn't mean I don't love you you know it's just this is my opinion. My opinion's not fact. That's just my opinion. And the same for other people. You know, it's like, I understand that these are your feelings and I accept you for who you are or what your viewpoint is on, on this specific situation. And that's where you're moving into and it's loyalty to yourself and to your viewpoints. And it's like, just because you don't agree with somebody doesn't mean you don't love them. Doesn't mean you don't want them in your life. It's just you have a different opinion. And that is what makes the world go round. Like, that is why it is so important to be yourself because everything that you are, your viewpoint, your perspective, your feelings, your thoughts, that is you. You're allowed to be you. And it's like you're at that point where you have finally set yourself free. Finally set yourself. It's like this release of, like, pleasing other people and this this relief of letting go of the fact the thought that you have to watch what you say and watch what you do and it's like that those issues of like having to walk on eggshells put pe puts people in like this resentment mode and this frustration mode and it's like you don't have to do that like you just be yourself and it's it's a you know you feel bad if somebody is offended by who you are or what you think but it doesn't mean that you don't love them. It doesn't mean you don't want them in your life. Like, we have to get to that point where we have to be willing to love and accept people even for their opinions. And it's like being able, like I can have a conversation with anyone about anything. I don't get riled up about religion. I don't get riled up about politics. I genuinely 100% love hearing people's perspectives about um, politics because it's not something I do a lot of research on and so it's like I feel like I can learn something from everybody I come across so I'm like I would love to hear about your perspective on religion and what you think about it and it, I would love to hear your perspective of politics and hear what you think about it and what your feelings are and why you feel so passionately about your perspective like I love hearing that and it's like I don't really have much opinion about these things because I just, I just love what people have to offer. Like everybody has this, this some, everybody has something that you don't have. And like, that's why it's so great. And this world is so amazing. And people are so amazing is because we are all different. And that's what's so great. So this has been an amazing reading, Scorpio. And this is your life. Like this is the new life that you're stepping into of like, hey, you know what? Who cares if they have a different religion or who cares if they have a different perspective on politics than I do? It's like, I will love you anyway. I will be here for you anyway. <sighs> Thank you so much, Scorpio. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I'll also answer three yes or no questions in the extended. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you. You'll get notified all things Scorpio. I do Scorpio readings every single week. And an added bonus is it's completely free. It doesn't cost you anything to hit the subscribe button to be notified for these readings that I do. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there.